Peace, y'all. Peace to the gods, the earth, and the babies. Peace to all the civilized families in the planet Earth. If you don't know me, my name is Unique Lashim Allah. They call me Lashim the God. But yo, today I just wanted to build on today's Supreme Mathematics with y'all because there's a lot of people on my channel that need to be tapped in. But yo, check it out. Today's Supreme Mathematics is wisdom, culture, freedom. And the reason why it's like that, because today's date is the 24th. So the two stands for wisdom and the four stands for culture and freedom. Now, two plus four equals six. And six in Supreme Mathematics is equality. And now I'm going to tell you what they all mean. Wisdom, which is number two, are the wise words that are spoken by a wise person. Wisdom is also your ways and actions, which is secondary to your thoughts. So what you think is how you're going to act out. So you got to watch your thoughts because your thoughts are very important because they amplify through your wisdom. That's like if you're thinking something negative, something negative might come out your mouth. You feel me? Like a lot of time that occurs when people don't control their emotions. So they let their emotions supersede their intelligence. And then they say something to somebody that was close to and dear to them or whatever. And that it really offends the person. It really offends the person really hard because they didn't think before they acted. So that's putting wisdom before knowledge. But if you put knowledge before wisdom, you're always going to see things clearly because that brings uh Knowledge and wisdom bring an understanding. But back to today's Supreme Mathematic. Today's Supreme Mathematics is wisdom, culture, freedom, which forms equality, right? Wisdom is also the woman who is the black woman who is secondary but most necessary to the black man or any woman who's secondary to her husband because it's in chronological order, meaning man, woman, and child. So man is first, the woman is the secondary component, and the child is the understanding, which is the third component. But like I was telling you, um, wisdom is the black woman who is secondary, but most necessary to the black man. Now let's get into culture. Culture is Islam. That's my divine way of life. Now the acronym for Islam is I, self, Lord, and master. You see the I is for I, the S is for self, and etc. You feel me? I'm pretty sure y'all can follow me. And for those who don't follow me, it's I, self, Lord, and master. I stimulate life and matter. I sincerely live out a lost mathematics. I sincerely love a lost mathematics. But look, culture is a divine way of life. It's a sacred way of life. Now, your culture is Islam, right? See, a lot of people misinterpret culture for religion is culture is not religion you see if you go to china they have their cultural ways this is just part of their culture different different things that they do that has nothing to do with religion that's just the way they live if you go to morocco they have their customary ways and actions that's how they live and you feel me um so culture is my way of life and you're supposed to conduct yourself as a civilized person if you're a part of the five percent nation of Islam, or if you're a person, if you or if you're just a person, even if you're not in the five percent nation of Islam, once you become consciously aware of who you are and you know that you're a civilized person, then you have to conduct yourself accordingly. You feel me? And that amplifies good culture, you feel me? And freedom, freedom is to be free mentally as well as physically. There's a lot of people who's free physically, but they're not free mentally. Because when you obtain knowledge of yourself, I mean, knowing your culture, not going to school and they say pledge allegiance to the flag, United States of America, and that's not where your ancestors and your past generation came from. That's not your culture. You feel me? So people try to indoctrinate their religion and culture on you, but that's not your true cultural way of being. And the only way you're going to obtain that is through acquiring knowledge of yourself. You feel me? And equality 
Equality is the limitation of the woman and the devil because the woman has six ounces of brain cells and the black man has seven and a half ounces of brain cells and the devil has six ounces of brain cells. So their, their thinking ability is limited just the way their physical was constructed, meaning their DNA, the way their physical composition was constructed. That's why they have limited thinking ability. And that's why, no disrespect to women because they're very essential and they're very strong. Don't ever misinterpret that. But a lot of women who don't have knowledge of self, they let their emotions supersede their intelligence. That's like when they get in, involved with a man and they're going through some whatever, they don't know how to just maintain the conversations without letting their emotions get the best of them and then they want to start putting hands on you or getting all antsy and that's just women that don't have knowledge of themselves but once a woman get knowledge of herself then she can elevate to a supreme six and she's rolling with the most high so it's all great but um i just wanted to build with y'all on today's supreme mathematics and if you don't know me my name is Lashim Nagar. i got a channel called keep low on youtube that's called k double e P slash L O. I do do videos for street legends to show these brothers and sisters where the street legends went wrong in their life, whether they were dealing with drugs or whatever they were dealing with, to show them where they went wrong in their life so they could deal with some form of growth and development. So I do videos on street legends. I drop knowledge that'll help you elevate your life because I give people a lot of valid information that has a strong degree of validity and it can help them elevate their life. So, and I build for the gods, the earths and the babies like I'm doing currently on today's Supreme Mathematics. Well, anyway, my name is Lashim the God. Y'all see, look, I got a tray of lobster ravioli and I really want to get to this. So y'all, I wish you all peace and prosperity. And like I always tell y'all, Stay focused, you feel me, dig me? And yo, tap in with the guard. The channel's called Keep Low. And go to www.keeplowproductions.com. And um, just check out the page and cop you some Keep Low shirts. And also follow me, Ruben Lashim Turner, on Instagram and Facebook. Lashim Turner on Instagram and Facebook. And Lashim the guard on TikTok, you feel me? I just started my TikTok today. So we're going to do big things. And stay tuned for my membership. Because I got a paid membership program where y'all can tap in with me and we're going to build. We're going to constantly elevate because that cause expansion. You feel me, dig me? Tap in with the guard. Peace.